Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Finish It Friday. It is the fourth, and uh, we're going to see what I accomplished this week and see some things that you guys have accomplished as well. And uh, I don't even know where to start. I've got my hands into so many things right now. <laughs> but at first, I'll show you the things I, I got finished. If you can say that it's finished a block at a time, I've got blocks that are finished. <laughs> uh, I did another uh, shimmer block. That one's pretty. I love the purple and the greens together. A little hint of peach there, too. So now I think I have six blocks done. Two, four, seven. I have seven blocks done out of 20. Still working on that. I may have, you may have seen this on Monday, but this is the October um, mini barn block that I got done on November 1st, I think it was. <laughs> so I need to look up Novembers and start working on it. Browns and golds and whites. And I have my hometown charm block. Let me pull this down because you can't see it. Got that done. That came out on Wednesday. Pat Sloan's um, hometown charms uh, quilt along, so along. And that block goes, and you're not going to be able to see exactly, but it's the corner block up here. And then you might have also noticed that I put in some of my sashing. Uh, she gave us an option of doing uh, like a piano keyboard option here. And that's here and here. And then in between these two blocks. Or a um, checkerboard out of black and white. And I just decided the ones I had seen online that people were doing. Most people did the checkerboard, so I wanted to see what the panel keys look like. Plus, it was a little less work, really, to do it that way. So, that's coming along, and I went ahead and sewed this section together. I hope I don't regret that. But, uh, to get this on, I had to. So, hopefully I don't get a hankering to move one of these blocks around, because they're sewn in now. So uh, technically I could go ahead and sew this row and then sew it onto this. However, I'm kind of having thoughts about maybe this block should go here. I'm not sure. And you know, there's uh, one, two, there's three more blocks for the bottom. I may wait and see what those look like before I actually put them in their permanent place but that's that's looking better isn't it it's starting to come together okay the commissioned piece I don't have it quilted yet but I have done all of the um, all the design for it all of the applique all of the um, oh what do you call it the stitching around it the blanket stitch it's not a blanket stitch it's actually a zigzag a, a close-knit zigzag so I will get this together today I would love for her to have it this weekend so I'm hoping that I can I can get that done to today I think I can because it's you know there's not much quilting on here to do so there's that That's kind of been a monkey on my back, and I need to get it off. So, there. Okay, we had our Wednesday vintage mystery block, and I pulled out the wrong one. Here's my nine patch. Hold on. Let me get my block out that I did. I just grabbed the wrong one. It is called Cobblestones. And that's it right there. Very easy. It's just uh, four snowballs. And the center uh, stitch and flip is a different color. 
So there's that. I'll just go ahead and put that back in there now that I have it open. Just keeping these in here. I'm loving these project boxes. It's really keeping me organized. And I can always just grab something. If I get bored with one thing, I'll just grab something else and work on it. Okay, and then the birdsong milk can quilt. I have made a backing and I decided to use um, some leftover pieces that I had from those milk cans in the backing. So that wound up being a little, little bit more work than I originally intended. Have that see these strips of those 10 inch squares because I had a layer cake right it left like a three inch piece so I just sewed all those together and stuck it in the middle of my backing and then I was running low on this material so I used some in the corner as well not all the corners <laughs> it's on this corner and then the opposite corner I can't really show you that right now here well here it is down here but it's it's a little eclectic but it's a backing and of course that wound up being a whole nother quilt project which didn't allow me to get that basted yet as a matter of fact I just got that done it's the last thing I've I've done and then uh, I mentioned also briefly on Monday that I'm involved in a hexi program <laughs> a hexi program that sounds like some kind of illness doesn't it um, yeah I've got nearly 600 done uh, I have this many more and I'll have 600 done and I know that doesn't look like a whole lot but they're packed in there tight and I'll probably need double that to get the size that I need I'm not sure We'll just have to wait and see. So, nice little project to do while you're just sitting and watching TV or watching videos or whatever it is you do to relax and still have something in your hand to do. It's super easy. Super easy. All you do is you get these papers. They come in various sizes. Take a, about a four inch scrap and, and then cut. I cut that down to about a quarter or three eighths all the way around so I have my scissors here in my tray I do that first and then I take my glue pen and then just glue all the way around and turn those edges over of course I, I glue each each uh, side first turn it over glue another side turn it over and then that turns into these and we'll be putting we I'll be putting those together here shortly Shortly, as in all the rest of my projects, how fast I get them done. <laughs> Not too fast. Oh, here's a little tulip pink that I threw in there. Most of my fabrics are um, K-Facet. Well, they all are, except for this one. I couldn't resist putting him in there. I've got a few of these. So they'll just be kind of randomly scattered in here and there. So that's been fun and relaxing to do. I really enjoyed uh, that process. And also having something to do in the house without having to come up here to sew if I don't want to. I can do something up there, down there, and, uh, you know, be with my husband and my dog and, and where the food and the bathroom is. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we're going to look at what you guys got done. And let me see what we have here. We have one from Kathy. And this is something that she finished along with a pillow for her brother and sister-in-law who lost everything in Houston's Hurricane Harvey including a quilt that she had made for them. And when she saw this fabric and pattern, she had to make this crumb cake quilt for them. Nice quilt. I love the color scheme. Kind of fallish looking, but um, kind of uh, folky, folk art kind of like too. And I love that, 
that crow up there in that one block. I've been looking for some crow fabric. Do you have any crow fabric? I'm looking for a piece of crow fabric that has like a cream background and just crows, like a large, larger size crow. I can't find any anywhere. Okay, and then also Ginger. She's doing the Eldon Quilt Along with Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts, and these are very intricate blocks. She says, this one will be a challenge and puts me out of my comfort zone with all the Y seams. She says her block is not perfect, but she knows where she needs to be more accurate. And let me tell you, Ginger, I zoomed in on your block, and I don't see anything less than perfection there. Unless I'm blind. It looks pretty darn good. I wonder how many blocks they're doing like that. I wonder how long it takes to do a block like that. That's a lot of little tiny strips. Great job. Uh, Dolores sent us a... Um, baby blanket just a simple kind of a charm pack kind of uh, baby blanket in pinks and blues um, and florals and yellow and this is old timey it's kind of like that uh, I don't want to say 30s but kind of like maybe 40s type of um, print there I really like that good and that yellow that's in there kind of reminds me of the old timey cheddar you know they used to uh, call that color cheddar well, I guess they still do in some senses but uh, that's kind of a an old timey color to use in quilts and Diane she did a fall quilt. She did Adele in Autumn. You remember the, the one that I had hanging up here that was a table topper? This is the same fabric, Adele in Autumn. And she's done like a, a framed square with hers. And the outside border is from Moda Decorum. Very nice, very nice. I just love that charm pack that I used. I really liked it. I'd like to find some of that bigger scale floral too. Some yardage. Uh, I haven't been able to find any. And then Dolly. Dolly has done a, um, a beautiful quilt here. And she's done some... Uh, straight line stitching and some stars in her white blocks and let me see what she said about this it says this is a creamy white unbleached muslin with multicolor nine patches it finished around 48 inches square and she gifted it to a homebound friend just big enough for her lap that's the one on the bottom here, I believe. Hold on, let me read the rest. Uh, then this week I finished just a top using some of my mini orphan blocks. Okay, that's the bottom one. Several of which represent quilts that I have made or fabrics that a dear past friend shared with me. The hexagons with kitty cats from her were especially hard to fit in, but I persevered and am tickled to have it represent my bestie in Oklahoma who is no longer with is is no longer with us. So we see her quilt there with the 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 nine patches in multicolors with the I believe those are pure white blocks. Oh, there's some hearts in there, too. She did hearts, stars, and like a stitch in the ditch. Um, and then the one for her friend that's just a top. The one with all the multi uh, blocks in it. And you see the one with the kitty cats? She said that was hard to do, but it's so cute. Love it. Now see, that's what I'm going to be doing with my hexes, is I'm going to be putting them together like that. Beautiful. Love it. I could look at that all day. 
I might just do that after we get done here I might go back to that and look at each and every block yeah beautiful job all of you that sent pictures this week so today I'm going to get this commissioned thing done I'm going to get it done today I'm not going to do anything else till I get it done I've said that before but I really feel like I can yeah and then once I get that done I want to keep persevering on this and get that basted and start quilting it up so that's what I'm going to do this weekend what are you going to do Hope you've got a project you can pull out and work on. Something you can finish up or get a good start on. Um, if it's a big overwhelming project, just set out to do one block. Just one block. And I guarantee you, you probably won't spend more than an hour on that one block. If it's not something super, you know, difficult. So uh, try to do that and uh, get some projects put together before long here you'll have your nice quilt for yourself or for a gift and uh, it bring you a lot of happiness all right so have a great weekend and we'll see you on monday for the quilt chat bye <laughs>